there she is, be doing her hair. Now, let me explain something about the hair. Everyone in my family was in hair. It was like barbers and this and beauticians, and I had no skill. And at the time, I had trouble in school. I just, it took me, I'd have to read something like 15 times. And that was before they really understood dyslexia a little bit. Right. My, I'm not severe, but bad enough. So I said, you know what, I've had it. I'm not going to deal with school anymore. He goes, why don't you become a beautician? I said, look at me. Look at these hands. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the hands of a, no. Oh, anyway. Think of the neck rub you could give, you know? Oh, my God. So I went to beauty school, and going to beauty school is like going into a whole different planet. Because uh -huh. everyone there has a lot of issues about, well, you know, why they want to be a beautician. So uh, my reason was because I'm a <laughs> failure. I said, nah, that's, that's not really reason enough. But there's things back then about doing pin curls. I don't know. Do women still do that anymore? Like really tight well, I don't know curls. if women do, but I've done it a couple times. I'm telling you, it's, it's, I, I couldn't do it. So... Uh, on Saturday, they'd have a special, they, anyone who was willing to risk their hair would come into these schools and for a dollar fifty, they, okay, make me beautiful. I go, you, you got 12 <laughs> hairs on your head, man. <laughs> you know, I'm not a magician, but that's, that's how. And, and afterwards, they just basically say, go, go back to school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so we could have, you had either been doing hair or working at Dry Bar or Rocky. <laughs> I mean, the paths are- It's close. Yeah.